Hello everyone. Welcome to Green Guardians, fueling India's energy transition, an initiative by India Business and Trade, where we uncover the visions and perspective of thought leaders driving the clean energy transition in India. I am Aishu Bhadwaj, Assistant Editor at IBT, and today we have the privilege of having Mr. Prashant Mathur, CEO, Satvik Green Energy. Thank you so much, sir, for joining us today. We are very eager to gain insights. Thank you, from... sir. Welcome, sir. We are very eager to gain insights from your journey and from your experiences. Today, we are going to explore the realm of solar module manufacturing. Solar modules, also known as solar panels, are the heart of solar photovoltaic systems, and its manufacturing has witnessed significant growth in recent years. So, sir, to begin with, I want to ask about your company's journey in solar module industry and its key milestones. Thank you, uh, Aishu, and uh, um, I thank all your uh, viewers also. Um, and uh, yeah, so um, to talk about uh, Satvik's journey, so so Satvik started uh, in two thousand fifteen, and so we are currently in eighth year of our business and uh, we are amongst the largest solar module manufacturer in India. Mm -hmm. um, our plant is in uh, Ambala, which is uh, near Delhi, north mm -hmm. part of India. Um, and uh, we have uh, currently our capacity is uh, 1.5 gigawatt module manufacturing, which mm -hmm. is 1500 megawatt. Mm -hmm. So amongst, amongst the top five manufacturers um, in India. Mm -hmm. um, we do, we started off with the um, polycrystalline technology, which is also known as multi-crystalline. Okay. Um, currently, we are doing uh, monocrystalline um, P-type uh, half-cut panels, which are 545, 550 watt panels. Um, these are the latest generation uh, solar panels available in India right now. So we are, uh, you know, we are we are bringing the top notch technology mm -hmm. um, in India, um, and also we are expanding. So so now the latest technology which we are bringing, mm -hmm. uh, which will be operational from September October, um, is going to be end top con technology, which is which is where the technology is moving now. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, key milestones uh, for us has been that we firstly we have grown con consistently um so year on year our growth has been plus 25 uh, percent mm -hmm. for last eight years mm -hmm. um we have grown significantly in last three years mm -hmm. so our last three years we have grown almost nine times That's so great. this is the kind of phenomenal growth which mm -hmm. happens in uh, in solar industry. This is mm -hmm. the energy businesses like that only mm -hmm. you grow very. If mm -hmm. if you're doing the right things, you yeah. you grow very fast. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so we have, our team is growing. Um, we are not only doing solar panel manufacturing. We are also doing EPC. So we do also do engineering mm -hmm. procurement and construction work mm -hmm. for for large, mm -hmm. um, you know, rooftop and ground mounted projects. Primarily for C and I, and also uh, for some government projects, mm -hmm. we also are moving now in in the direction of the IPP business, okay. so setting and selling power. Mm -hmm. So we are we have started doing some projects there as well. Mm -hmm. We also sell domestically, and we do international business as well. Mm -hmm. So um, you know, we are we are selling into US, Canada. Mm -hmm. Europe, Africa, so all of these territories. Mm -hmm. This is primarily what our business has been. Okay. And uh, what I've got from your uh, answer is ki if you are moving right in the direction of energy, your business would grow right as well. Uh, so, so with that, I want to ask my next question. How are you planning to retain a competitive edge in the solar market right now? Yeah, so, you know, as I said, obviously, if you're doing the right things, you grow in the energy business. But if you do not exactly. do 
those things timely, then that can backfire as well. Mm -hmm. So um, that is also very important that you maintain that competitive edge mm -hmm. and uh, bring products, technology, best practices, which are updated with the global you know, energy business and how the global market is moving. Mm -hmm. So we are we are always um, there to be at that competitive edge. So mm -hmm. as I said, we now we are we are expanding. Mm -hmm. Our new expansion is in the top con technology. So uh, primarily in India, we have seen uh, P type uh, technology, but now the market is moving towards N type. Mm -hmm. uh, earlier in type technology was expensive now it has become mainstream mm -hmm. so now we are bringing top on uh, you know panels so these are the same size panel will will be higher wattage almost 10 15 percent higher uh, efficiencies mm -hmm. so obviously more um, generation or more energy generation per square meter so better LCOE, which is the levelized cost of energy. So we are we are we are doing that uh, in our EPC business. Also, we have always uh, striving for um, lowering the cost of uh, ownership of the product mm -hmm. and the project, and bringing the best practices, be it in uh, engineering, be it in installation services, be it in uh, OEM services. So that's how we are we are trying to retain our competitive edge mm -hmm. and obviously you know uh, we continuously work on our um, in terms of r d we work on uh, how we can fine-tune the product and the technology mm -hmm. not compromising on the quality but bringing the best quality in the market at a very competitive prices mm -hmm. so so that that we have consistently been doing that and I think that is partly the reason for our success in the market. And I think, sir, that is what India needs right now. Quality is what we are, you know, expecting from exactly. India. Exactly. So, sir, um, uh, moving on to my next question. As you're moving forward, uh, what are your uh, potential growth expectations from Indian market right now? So, Indian market, uh, um, you know, the expectations are that... Uh, it, it continuously has to grow because mm -hmm. India has to move uh, faster towards uh, clean energy. Mm -hmm. So solar is, is a must. I think uh, we need more pace in doing that because, uh, you know, firstly, we have so much of solar energy in our country that uh, we need to harness that. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, as the as the country is becoming more and more prosperous, um, you know people are getting uh, uh, more and more purchasing power. So I think uh, you know people energy requirement will continuously grow. Mm -hmm. I think there's the potential of uh, firstly moving from um, you know non renewable sources to renewable mm -hmm. is one part of the growth. Mm -hmm. The other part is that as, you know, our society, you know, a lot of people are coming out of poverty, people are mm -hmm. getting more affluent, then electric vehicles are um, becoming more and more popular. I think in next few years, we will, we will have such a huge demand for, for energy mm -hmm. and that it is, it, it's better that we prepare in advance so that we don't have to be dependent on and you know non um, renewable sources so mm -hmm. so we need to have our infrastructure mm -hmm. ready with renewable energy so mm -hmm. that we can um, we, we can supply that demand mm -hmm. uh, which which we, which i see is going to come in a very huge way in the next mm -hmm. few years yeah sure sir and uh, as you talked about demand and uh, infrastructure, of course. And earlier you talked about that you do not risk the quality. So I want to know how does your company ensure sustainable practices and environmental, you know, sustainability, sust uh, environmental responsibility when it comes to solar module manufacturing? Yeah, so um, 
various uh, various ways obviously one is firstly we we ourselves are uh, you know most of our energy comes from renewable sources mm -hmm. so i always believe that we need to do what we preach so most of our energy we try to bring it from renewable sources mm -hmm. uh, because energy consumption for for manufacturing is also very high then you have uh, you know solar panels uh, you know they also have a life mm -hmm. so um so disposing of solar panels after the life also so we we are one of the uh, first few companies in india who have uh, um who, who have a plan on how to dispose of the solar panels and we have uh, um you know we have agency who's working on that mm -hmm. so that is very important for uh, you know how you can um handle the solar panels when they are uh, when they are no longer after 25 years 30 years of life when mm -hmm. they're no longer in use so these are these are the the ways how we are uh, you know we are a responsible manufacturer um mm -hmm. both for the for the society and for the environment that's great sir and uh, as i can see that uh, satvik is one of you know a major major player in so solar module manufacturing and as you have said that you are you are among the largest manufacturers so as a prominent player what suggestions would you want to uh, offer to the government for the support and promote renewable energy in india and especially in solar sector sir as such, our government is doing a fantastic job mm -hmm. i think the only um problem which needs to be sorted out is mm -hmm. um policies have to be very stable so mm -hmm. there has been some policies ups and downs uh, mm -hmm. uh, lately and i think that needs to be sorted out because uh, the manufacturing is 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 uh, i'm consuming so you have uh, you know from from concept till execution takes about 2 3 years mm -hmm. and uh, you know you have a um, you know you have you select a land you get all approvals then you order for equipment you have a building which is coming you have you know so many things needs mm -hmm. to be worked out and after that the the manufacturing happens so mm -hmm. you know we need that conducive environment to keep growing and i think when you have some kind of policy flip flop then the confidence of manufacturers um you know mm -hmm. waves so i think the important thing is that there has to be consistency in policy mm -hmm. uh, and we can debate whether it is good or bad Hmm. but at least there has to be some consistency which which we need from the government i think hmm. in terms of projects hmm. uh, government is doing a fantastic job on hmm. you know new and new projects i think but still we need to have more hmm. you know you have a neighbor like china who has potential and some you know some years they have done about 70 to 100 gigawatt in a year and uh, india is more populated now than china mm -hmm. our energy requirement is might not be as big as china now but it will be mm -hmm. um, um there is a potential that this will become 3 to 4 times mm -hmm. in next uh, you know as as the economy gets bigger and bigger so um you know there's definitely more scope for new projects so but yes policy if if that is there stable policy is there then more and more uh, and existing manufacturers will expand capacities and we will have a manufacturing ecosystem uh, wherein every manufacturer is mm. making those products because ultimately government also wants to make in india yeah and uh, the way we are we we have been moving in last few years mm. um you know and with the pli scheme and all mm. uh, india will become a ex exporter of uh, you know uh, solar equipments 
uh, in next few years, a net exporter, I would say. Mm. Um, so I think we need to, we, we see that potential, but I think if we have stable policies, then you will see that India will actually become the, the hub for global solar and other renewable equipments. Rightly said, sir. And uh, as we are talking about uh, what government has actually done, so it has done so much for the startup culture in our country. So uh, do you think the startup ecosystem has somewhere, uh, you know, promoted your company's growth or some or the other way innovation in your sector? Um, startup ecosystem, obviously, like, um, you know, solar itself is like a startup. So, yes, sir. you know, it's manufacturing, but uh, do you have so many ancillaries which, which were not there in... Uh, you know, because solar industry itself is not very, mm -hmm. uh, very old in, mm -hmm. in terms of, uh, so, so you have so many, uh, you know, you have junction box and ribbon manufacturer, solar ribbon manufacturer, you have sealant frames. So there are so many components that goes into solar manufacturing. Mm -hmm. Um. So there is, there has been a uh, few startups which are already doing a very good work here mm -hmm. um and then you have um, solar projects installation and then you have um o m services and then mm -hmm. some you know robotics i have i've seen some mm -hmm. some robotics based o and m also happening yes yeah, so these are all uh, good startups and we mm -hmm. and they are inverter manufacturers also mm -hmm. who have done a significant uh, job here and these are all kind of startups hmm. so no we we definitely promote hmm. the startup culture because uh, we ourselves are like a star were hmm. like a start a few years back hmm. so for us it's it's definitely promote the startup culture and hmm. there's a lot of scope here in this industry as well all right sir and as you said that uh, you yourself uh, were a startup a few years back. So moving on to my last question, I want to know uh, what suggestions and what uh, advice would you give to new entrepreneurs who are entering the business, solo business, basically? I think uh, solo business, my advice is, um, you know, play on your strength. Firstly, okay. you need to understand the entire dynamics of the industry because uh, the, the biggest challenge which I see in the solar industry for a for a new entrepreneur is that uh, it is a very different industry than a normal industry mm -hmm. uh, because the dynamics um, change of very fast. Mm -hmm. um, so this is very you know very low margin high volume business and uh, price dynamics change overnight so you know be cautious understand the market well understand the business well um, before making the entry because this is not like a regular industry mm. uh, regular business so my my advice is play on your strengths Just understand the business understand the dynamics of the industry first Mm. And then take your decision on what part you want to do. The other thing is I've seen a lot of new entrepreneurs who want to do too many things at the same time. Mm. And they want to they want to do like small EPCs and they want to do large projects as well. They also take O&M. Mm. They also want to do manufacturing and they want to. So, you know, there is, there is money to be made mm. in all segments in every part of this industry but you need to play on your strength you need to know what works well for you what you know what you know and what you can deliver i think mm -hmm. that is that is very important rather than right. doing too many things and mm -hmm. failing better to do one or two things mm -hmm. and do it well um, that's great, sir. I think uh, our audience would have a lasting impact, especially the people who are entering the business right now. And uh, that's all for today, sir. 
thank you so much for joining us it was indeed an exciting chat and uh, even i myself i do not belong from this sector but still i have i've gained so much from what you are saying and uh, i would uh, you know moving forward i just want to say that to our audience that uh, people like mr mathur is you know one such entrepreneur who are constantly promoting india's clean energy transition so with this uh, that's all for today's episode sir thank you so much for joining us and thank you. yeah we look forward to collaborate you. with you again and we wish sure. satvik green energy all the best and may it be you know uh, continue to be the largest solar mo module manufacturing manufacturer and for our audience uh, that's all stay tuned for more captivating in interactions and keep supporting sustainability thank you so much thank you sir thank you. for joining us